Hi, I'm here to show you the FSR4 quad force sensing resistor module from Synthworks. As you can see, it's four identical channels, each channel consisting of a pressure output, a gate output with its corresponding LED, a threshold control that determines when the gate turns on, a scale control that gives the overall voltage output scale for the pressure output, and the four pressure pads down at the bottom. In this patch that I'm doing right now, I have a simple oscillator into filter into VCA, an LFO, a voltage control LFO going into a VCA and then into the oscillator to be vibrato. And I have one pad controlling the frequency of the initial oscillator, another pad controlling the filter and providing a gate for the, the envelope generator that goes to the VCA. The third is a, the volume or level of the VCA controlling the LFO, allowing uh, different modulation depths, and the frequency of the LFO. I patched the LFO into this uh, uh, manual gate push button module so you can kind of see it go in different speeds. And also this allows me to select between a square wave and a ramp wave as my, as my particular uh, LFO wave. So let's get started. So, as you can see, the filter control. And I have these. The scales are pretty high for the for both of these, so you can see a little light touch can make it go a long ways. Beyond hearing. And then the, the LFO. Here's a fun thing you can do. You can take the pitch oscillation or the pitch control voltage, plug that through a quantizer. And here we have. Now you might want to change the scale on this one so that it's a little more um, controllable into different ranges. You can set the highest range with the scale command and then you know that when you press really hard that's as far as it's going to go. Now the force sensing resistors that are down here, unlike capacitance uh, versions, don't react to electrical fields or anything like that. And in fact, allows you to do some things like some people don't like to touch just bare, the bare contacts, which are actually underneath the little vinyl piece. So you're not really on a contact. They never need cleaning or you know uh, scrubbing or anything. You can do something like this. I've cut a little piece of a uh, old mouse pad lay it on top and this gives you a little more of a softer surface that you can customize to whatever field you want. This allows for a lot more control and adjustment by the user. So you can be fairly subtle. Thank <laughs> you. 
And you can see the response time is very quick. In fact, you can actually use objects like drumsticks. If I had a drumstick, I would do it. And if I was good enough to hit this small little space. Anyway, there's an idea.